Howdy folks. Okay. I'm in the shop here today. And uh, as you can see, up to my eyeballs. So my buddy has brought his Uber Clean 90LX Vert into me and I'm in the process of, while well, putting it back together right now, we had to do the dreaded heater core. <laughs> so the new heater core is in, you know, this is how people get essentially blessed into the Fox Body community. You can't say you're a true Fox Body enthusiast until you've changed a heater core. We got it. The dash is starting to go back in here. You can't see right now, but essentially right there is where all the magic happens. The worst part about this job is it's like a $50 part, but you've got hours of pulling essentially the whole dash out of your vehicle. On this note, I wanted to give you guys a little bit more detail on how I go about restoring these gauge clusters. I did a video a little while ago on essentially just the process that I use, which is all this gear here, but I never laid out or showed you step by step how I do it. And I'm going to do that for you today. Okay, so first things first, we gotta remove all these torque screws that hold the plastic cover in place. Now be very, careful with these not so much when you're taking them out but as you're putting them back in you can crack this plastic it will get brittle on you and crack if you really over torque them so there you go here is our plastic now we're going to be cleaning this up to make it look new again I don't know if the camera will pick up all the tiny little scuffs and scratches and I'm not sure what that is. Well, that looks like it'll buff out. Most of this stuff will buff out and I'll show you the process on how to do that. But first steps first, we got to get the dust bunnies out of here. And I'm going to use some compressed air to do that. Right, so if you have the luxury of compressed air and a compressor, you can get after this uh, quite quickly. Now, I will say be careful, you know, like these gauges are somewhat precision equipment and they are delicate, but just, you know, get the, the heavy stuff out. I'll give the back, because they can get quite dusty. I'll give this a good blow off too. Okay, now we're gonna start with the plastic first. And the reason I do that is because once the plastic's done, you can get your gauge cluster cleaned up and you don't have to run the risk of having it sitting around and maybe getting some more dust falling into it prior to you putting the plastic back on it. So first steps first, just take a, a bit of a wet rag and get any of the, the big dust off of it. Okay, and now here's where the magic happens. Now. There's really no particular product that I use. It's it's kind of whatever I have laying around, but this is a, a second step cutting polish or polishing compound. So it's not the heaviest grit. It's kind of right in the middle of the road. Um, get yourself something like this that you can apply to the plastic. So something not aggressive. You don't want like a heavy, heavy cutting polish, um, kind of a mid grade. And you're gonna apply this to the plastic. So just like you'd be applying a, a polish to a, a paint job that you're trying to remove a, a light scratch from. So kind of rub it in. Now I should note too, I don't do the backside. And the reason being is, well, it's not exposed to anything that um, like outside elements or, or hands. Well, my hand's touching it right now, but that's about it. We'll get that off after with some some rubbing alcohol but just kind of give it a quick buff now depending on how rough your plastic is you might have to do this a couple of times 
This one's not too bad, so I'm thinking one, maybe two applications will get us done. So just in a circular motion, rub it into the plastic. Okay, and then take yourself a clean microfiber and buff it off. So you can see already like this one's, because it might only need one application. Not bad, hey? I'm not sure what this stuff is. Might try to get that off with some rubbing alcohol. So as far as the rubbing alcohol goes, well, these are just some sort of a cotton pad. I steal these off my wife. I think she uses them for war paint application or something. But anyway, uh, yeah, it looks like that's gonna come right out of there. More or less. Now, you can't, obviously, you can do a lot here. Um, I don't know if like 100% perfection is achievable, but you can definitely get yourself to a point where you're way better off than when you started. So while I'm at this, I'm gonna maybe give this backside a little wipe. See if I can get rid of some of this stuff. The nice part with alcohol is it dries completely, right? So that's why I like to use this stuff on here. And we're gonna be using it again on the, the actual uh, gauge cluster itself. Looks like we've got some full-time war wounds. Now keep in mind, a lot of this stuff's gonna get hidden again by the dash itself. Most of this will actually. That's probably where these rub marks are from. And if I went at it, over and over and over again, I'd probably pull some of these out. But the thing I'm looking for is just that, you know, big picture change to get rid of those high level scratches so you can actually see your gauge cluster nice and clear again. So I'm gonna give this one more go. There we go. Not bad. Now the big thing is obviously you wanna make sure you got all the fingerprints off the back side of this because once you put it on, you're gonna see those things as the sh sun shines through your car and, and splashes all over the dash. You don't want any fingerprints that you're gonna have to pull your dash apart again to get rid of. But that is how you turn your glass brand new again. All right, so the cluster. Now, what you're gonna need here, some good old fashioned Q-tips, Again, one of these cotton pads. If you got a better half that might have these in her makeup cabinet, they're the best to use. And essentially we're just trying to tidy this up again with some rubbing alcohol. This is 70%, you know, stuff goes up to like 90 or 99%. And all we're gonna do is just try and clean some of this dusty, heavy stuff up. So this is a little prettier to look at when you're going down the road. Again, compressed air is gonna be your friend on a lot of this stuff. In theory, the gauges and stuff shouldn't be too bad because they sit more on a flat angle so dust doesn't really stick to them. But then again, if you're dealing with a convertible, the car may have been through some dusty conditions. Actually, uh, the more I look at this, we definitely do have some dust to deal with. It's kind of that sooty dust too that well, it doesn't like to blow off with compressed air. But I guess it all depends on how anal you want to be with it too, right? You can see I got a little bit of a residue in there. So I'll just get a 
cleaner pad. Go with this again. Take my microfiber and see if that cleans it up a little nicer. It's getting a lot better. And again, just be delicate with this stuff. Give it a little blast. Okay, so we're ready to go back together. Now the trick to this is, just make sure you don't have any dust bunnies prior to putting it all back together or it's gotta come apart again. And as I mentioned earlier, when you're putting these screws back in, just be extra careful, okay? These do not have to be farmer tight. Just snug, because you will crack this plastic. Don't ask me how I know. Brand new second hand. All the dust bunnies gone, all the fine scratches are gone. Like I said, you can still see some of this stuff in here, which maybe if I spent a little bit more time, a little bit more of it would come out. Some of this stuff is in there for good and you can't remove it, but you can literally take these things from like pretty much garbage and make them look damn near brand new again. Okay, folks, well, I got to get this dash put back together so I can actually put the new and improved gauge cluster back in this car. But uh, as always, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please share it with folks. That's why I do these videos, try to help out the community. And uh, thanks for tagging along, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye for now.